Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel. Long time no see. It is time for my panel's eyeshadows update. I know this is everyone's favorite video. They always do so well on my channel and I'm so glad that everyone enjoys them as much as I do. I wasn't originally going to film today. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of like in just cleaning clothes. I've just been cleaning my apartment um, and I have this huge volcano on my chin that I haven't been wearing makeup because I'm trying to get rid of it and it's almost gone, almost clearing up maybe. Um, and I also put off filming this particular update because there are a couple shades that I was unsure of what I wanted to do. I just felt like I wasn't making enough progress this month and I didn't want to disappoint everyone in the project, but I think I've kind of figured out what I want to do in terms of the shades and what kind of the vibe is. So I'm going to give you the update. There is um, some pan and some rollouts uh, and some good, good updates. Um, and then I will tell you guys what we're going to do shade wise at the end. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, first off, I have a bonus pan this month. I feel like last time I included these at the end, but I'm going to do them at the beginning. So this bonus pan, it comes from my Too Faced Gingerbread Spice. I hit major pan on this shade powdered sugar at the top and I am so pleased. Look at that. Like that was just completely organic. I use this one primarily as a concealer and lid setting shade. I don't always wear foundation when I do my eye makeup. And so instead of reaching for a powder to set my concealer, cause I'll do like eye makeup concealer, I'll end up using like a white or nude shadow just to set the concealer under my eyes. And that is how I was able to hit pan on that shade. I've literally been unofficially working on that shade forever. So I'm excited to have a pan in that shadow. Now let's go ahead and talk about the actual shades in the project. So the first one I have to talk about comes from my ColourPop Anna palette. And the shade I've been working on was Wind, which is this top middle shade. It is just kind of like a neutral brown. I used this shade a total of 12 times this month for a grand total of 27 uses total. And as you can see, I actually do have quite a bit of a dip going. Um, however, I will be honest, I'm starting to feel a little burnt out from some of the shades in this project, which is actually one of my fears starting a project like this, is I do feel quite burnt out with this shade. I'm just tired of reaching for it. Um, and overall, I'm really happy with the progress I've made in some of the other shades in this palette. So although I haven't hit pan, I feel like I've made a ton of progress on this palette and it definitely looks more loved and more used. And for that reason, because I did hit my 20 uses, I am going to go ahead and roll this one out. As always, it will still be eligible to be rolled back in and I might choose it eventually as a um, hand selected shade to work on. Moving on, the next shadow I have comes from my ColourPop Malibu Barbie palette. This the shade I've been working on is SoCal, which is this orange down at the bottom. I do have a major dip going on. I've been kind of focusing towards the middle um, or like bottom middle of the pan. And I have used this one a total of 15 times this month for a grand total of 19 uses altogether. I am going to keep working on this one. I really enjoy using this. I actually used it a lot with Wind, which was the previous shade, and creating warm neutral looks with it. And I really liked how that looked. And it also really worked well with another shade that you will see later in this project. Overall, it was a great shade. I'm wearing it on my eyeballs today and it was fun to work on in October, especially with all the Halloween looks. Like I thought it was great. I did a lot of um, candy corn looks with this shade and another shade and I thought it was just great. I did a very much repeat looks this month, but overall I've really enjoyed using this one. So I will continue to work on it and hopefully hit pan in the next month but I'm very pleased with the progress. It's definitely been an adventure trying to pan an orange shadow. The next shade is the yellow shade from my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. Again, the top middle shade. I have used this one a total of eight times this month for a grand total of eight times in the project since I rolled it in last update. I have a little bit of a dip going, you can kind of see. These are very densely packed and I don't use a ton of it when I do use it. I combined it a lot with SoCal and the candy corn looks, which I will show pictures of. But as a whole, I just feel like this is a very long haul type shade. I'm going to be working on this one for quite some time. I am going to keep it in the project and continue to work on it, especially with November. I am more than happy to try and use it up a little bit more. But overall, pretty good shade. The quality I feel like is pretty good. 
um, and it blends really well with a lot of the other shadows in my project. All right, the next shade comes from my ColourPop Just a Glitch palette. The shade I've been working on is T9, which is this periwinkle matte shade right in the middle, and I've only used this three times this month, and I will be honest, this shade is the reason why I was hesitant to film this update. I've only used this one three times, and the times I have used it, one of them I actually used it as a crease shade. I mixed it with some purples from my Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. Um, but the other two times, I used it as like a lower lash line color. I don't love this shade, and I felt like this was one that I just don't feel inspired by at this particular point in time. This is more of like a spring shade to me. It's not a bad shade by any means. It's actually a very pretty shade, but I think I am just ready to roll something out. I know I've only used it three times, but I did hit a bonus pan this month, and although I don't have any official rules on it, I'm going to kind of use my bonus pan in place of this, so I hit pan on this shadow, essentially. Um, but I do want to roll this one out and try something different for a little while. I did get some use out of some of the other shadows in this uh, little five pan palette, which was nice. I got some more use out of the palette as a whole, but just the T9 shade, I just feel... It's one of those that it really feels heavy to work on, if that makes sense. I'm just kind of feeling a little overwhelmed by this shade and the lack of inspiration and work I've made on it. Just realized again that I forgot to do swatches. So let me quick swatch the other two shadows that are staying in the project. This top orange shade is SoCal, and then we have the yellow from the Juvia's Place palette. The next shade I've been working on comes from my Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl palette, and the shade I've been working on is called Stay Current, and it is this deep brownish black shimmery shade. I have used this one a total of 23 times. Nearly every time I did my makeup this month, I reached for this as a lash line, kind of smoke at my lash line, and I have made an immense amount of progress on this. And although I've already surpassed my 20 uses, I do think that I could possibly hit pan in the next month, at least by the end of the year, if not in the next month. So that really excites me, and for that reason, I will keep it in the project. It was a fun one to work on, and I have enjoyed using it in a lot of different ways. This is Stay Current right on the bottom here and the other way I've been using this is actually to set my eyeliner. So I'll do like these big winged eyeliner wings and then set it with Stay Current so it turns not so much black but more of kind of like a really vampy shimmery brownish plum situation and I found that worked very well and it helped me to use more of it and I thought it was a very creative way of trying to use up this shadow and I am excited to see other ways I can figure out how to go through this shade. So this one is staying in the project. My sixth and final shade in this project comes from my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker. And the shadow that I've been working on is the shade Orange Juice. And another reason I almost put off filming this update is, as you can see, this shadow is very loved. I have not hit pan on it yet. I'm hoping to hit pan on it soon. Um, so because I think I will hit pan on it within the next several days, I'm going to go ahead and keep this in, but also pick an additional shade to work on because this was my hand selected shade. So once I do hit pan on this, I'll already have my next shade lined up. I use this primarily as a lid shade. I combined it a lot with red eyeshadow and would create kind of like fiery looks. I used it in my candy corn looks. I'm wearing it on my eyelids today just kind of as that last ditch effort trying to hit pan on this dang shade. I, I know I can do it and I'm actually very happy with the progress. Like it's insane to me to see like even on the camera like you can just see how insanely deep that pan is looking. I'm trying. I really am. Let me go ahead and swatch this one for you all. But this is definitely staying in. I really want to try and hit pan on this in the next few days and hopefully bring another pan to my collection. Okay, so we have our four shades staying in. I am going to have seven shades to work on this update because like I said, because I think I'm going to hit pan on orange juice rather quickly, I am going to select my shade in advance that's going to replace orange juice once I do hit pan on that. But first, we do have two random openings, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up my random number generator and we're going to select two random shades and then come back and talk about which shade I'm selecting to replace orange juice. Okay, the first number I rolled is 1198, so I'm going to quick write that down. 
And the second number is 29. So I think that's actually gonna be an ABH shadow, which should be pretty easy to hit pan on. So let me pull up my spreadsheet. Okay, one of these comes from a brand new palette, literally just got this in two days ago. And the other one comes from one of the older palettes in my collection. So let me go grab those and we'll be right back. Okay, the first shade I selected, it comes from my Jeffree Star Weirdo palette, which I literally just got maybe two days ago. I did an unboxing of the Jeffree Star Halloween mystery boxes and that is what I got my weirdo palette in. And the shade I got was 1985, which is right on the bottom here. It is this kind of periwinkle gray shade. So let me go ahead and swatch her. That I think will actually go really well with the other shades in my color story. We're going for a very, I totally did my swatches sideways, but we're going for a very orange and deep color story this month. So I am kind of a little sad. It's bittersweet pulling a brand new palette in, but I do know that it will inspire me to pull this palette out and actually get some use out of it before it just gets lost in my drawers. So I'm quite kind of bittersweet happy about it. I think I'm mostly happy about it. The second shade I rolled in it comes from my subculture palette and the shade that I got is Untamed which is this kind of teal shade right at the bottom here. I think it will be a little more challenging because this is on the older side and I know from experience trying to use this palette that it is not the easiest um, but I think it will be fun to try and play with some more of those vampy grungy looks as soon as I get those oranges and yellows out of the way We're gonna be doing lots of orange and yellow and very vampy looks this month. So this is the color story Let me go ahead and show you the shade that I'm selecting to work on in place of orange juice and I'll be right back All right, I'm not positive. So this is subject to change But you'll know by next update for sure which shade I chose but I think the one I want to go into comes again from my Gingerbread Spice palette. This is one of the older palettes in my collection. And since I hit the bonus pan, I am very inspired right now to try and get this to have a little more pan. So the shadow I'm thinking I want to work on is Warm and Toasty, which is this gold at the top. And this one is a very pretty shade. I actually really like this one for fall looks. It's this bottom one right here. It's kind of in between a bronze and a gold. And overall, it's one of my favorite shadows in this palette. So I feel like this won't feel like a chore to try and hit pan on it. But that is the last shade I think I'm going to work on. So this is our overall color story. I hope you guys did enjoy this little update. Again, as always, let me know which shades you're working on. I know there's a lot of people starting out this project. And if you are new to this project, let me know. I would love to keep up with your progress as well. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends.